to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Then Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So, dear ones, the Bible is so clear here. It's telling you and me to say, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in Jesus. If you trust in God, if you trust in Jesus, which means you will know who is the pathway to heaven. So, the Bible here is telling you and me to say we're supposed to tr put our trust in God. In whatever circumstances that we are facing, we must to trust must put to put our trust in God. The Bible also is telling us to say, Jesus Christ, He is the way, the truth, and the life. So, we, we, by the end of this short encouragement, we are going to realize and know who is the pathway to heaven. The Bible is telling you and me to say, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. I would have told you, I'm going to the Father to prepare a place for you. And if I prepare a place for you, I'll come back and take you. Where I will, you will be also. So here, the Holy Scriptures, they are telling us to say, Thomas said to, to, to the Lord Jesus Christ to say, we don't know the way. Show us the way. Then Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if you have Jesus Christ, you, ha you have the way to the Father. If you have Jesus Christ, you have the internal life. If you have Jesus Christ, you have the life. So who is the pathway to heaven? The pathway to heaven is Jesus Christ. Accept him today because he said in the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 20, the Bible is telling us to say, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone opens that door, I will come in and enter and have dinner with, with that person. So the Lord Jesus Christ, right now, my sister, my brother, is knocking at the door of your heart. He wants to enter to have a fellowship with you. He wants to enter to have a, a dominion together with you. And I urge you to trust in, in him, to believe in him. Now, how can you access a heaven without the password? You need to have this password. In order for you to access the, your phone, you need the password to that phone. In order for you to access your, your laptop, you need to have the password to that laptop to access the things that are inside. And it is the same. In order to, for you to access heaven, you need Jesus Christ in your heart because he's coming very soon. And you're supposed to be, pre prepare yourself. You're supposed to prepare yourself because Jesus Christ is going to face you and you are going to face him. You are going to answer. To, you are going to give a report. You are going to give an account to him when he's going to, be, to come back. Just read also from the book of Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10 verse 9. The Bible says, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. As the scripture says, anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame. So the word of God is telling you and me to say, how can we access heaven? How can we get saved? The Bible is very clear, you need to confess your sin. So first and foremost, before you confess your sin, you need to admit that you are a sinner. I need to admit that I'm a sinner. And not only that, you need also to confess your sins to God. Not only that, after confessing your sin, you need also to believe in Him. Because the Bible, the Bible says that if confess your sin and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, you'll be saved. So I urge you to trust in him, to confess your sin and to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that he was raised from the dead. And the Bible says, if you are going to do that, you're going 
to be saved. And the Bible says that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So you need to trust in Him, to accept Him in your heart. And if you have got Jesus Christ in your heart, which means you have got the password to heaven. If you have got Jesus Christ in your life, which means you have got access to heaven. When He is going to come, He's going to know to say, that is my son, that is my daughter. So as Christians, we're supposed to realize and believe in Him. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we may think. And not only that, he said, he is the, still the same Jesus yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forevermore. He never changes. He's still the same Jesus. So I urge you to trust in him, to rely on him, to depend on him. Your mom and your dad can disappoint you, but Jesus Christ, he cannot disappoint you. You need to trust in him and to have him in your life. To have him personally, you should have a personal relationship with God should have got the personal relationship with him because he is the maker of heaven and the earth, the giver of, of, your, of, your, of our lives. He is still the same. And the Bible also is telling you and me to say, faith comes by hearing. So as you are hearing the word of God, faith comes to you. And you, you will grow spiritually. And not only that, you will be grounded in the word of God. Not only that, you will be lifted in the spirit. Not only that, when Jesus Christ is going to come, he's going to remember you. So as Christians, you have the responsibility, as a child of God, you have the responsibility. And that responsibility is to do the will of God. Is to do the will of God. Are you doing the will of God in your, in your life? Are you obeying the word of God? Read the word of God on your own. If you read the word of God on your own, and understand it and chew on the word of God. The word of God will make you what it talks about. The word of God will make you what it talks about because the word of God is life. The word of God is Jesus himself. The word of God, he is the same. And the word of God is our redeemer. So I urge you right now to trust in him, to put your confidence in him because he's still he is still doing miracles and signs and wonders. Have, have faith in him. All you need to do is to have faith in, in God. All you need to do is to, have tr to trust in him. Because he's the one who, who conquered death. He's the only one who conquered, who conquered death. When he came here on earth 2,000 years ago, he was nailed on the cross of Calvary. And for you and for me, even if you, are, you were alone on this earth, Jesus Christ still would have, would have come. Even if you were just alone, just Christ, you would have still come to die for you. This is how much he loves you. Because the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have internal life. So you're supposed to have got that Jesus Christ in your heart. You're supposed to have got that password in order for you to access heaven. You're supposed to have that. You're supposed to trust in him. So, right now, you are there and you are deciding and you are saying, how can I accept Jesus Christ in, your, in, in my life? How can I accept him? The Bible has, uh, has told us to say that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. So, right now, I want, you to, I want me to help you to receive Jesus Christ in your heart as your Lord and your personal Savior. Me, I'm just a vessel. All you need to do is to put your trust in Him and accept Him today and repent of your sin. Once you do that, you become a child of God and you have got that password, that key to heaven. So those who are ready to accept Him right now, I need you right now to pray this prayer and uh, trust in God you pray after me say Lord Jesus I come to you I pray that I repent of every sin I accept you right now in my heart I confess with my mouth and I accept you Jesus Christ as my password 
I accept you right now in my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you remember me. Wash my heart with your precious blood. Thank you very much that you came and died for me. Today I have heard your word. I repent of every sin. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray. Amen. So I congratulate everyone who has listened to this word, and I urge you to continue believing in God, to trust in Him. He will be with you now and forevermore. Thank you very much for watching and for your time. Thank you very much, CBC Management and everyone else who have taken part in this production. May God literally bless you.